Welcome everybody, J.R. Fisher here. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whatever time zone you're in. I'm joined by the lovely, beautiful, and talented Jessica. Say hi to everybody, Jessica. Hey everybody, thanks so much for being here today. We got a great session for you today. I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek on something that uh, nobody else can see, but since you're Inner Circle members, you get access to it. Uh, we do have a few guests I've invited today to kind of get the behind the scenes look at our Inner Circle. So if you got an email and you're not an Inner Circle member, you are welcome to join. There's a link at the bottom there. It's jrinnercircle.com forward slash enroll. If you go there, you're going to watch a video and you'll see all the cool stuff you'll get by being an Inner Circle member. So anyhow, let's uh, get going. I want to make sure everybody can hear me. So do me a favor. Find your little chat message thing over there. What is it called? Chat or message? Just, yeah. It's called chat. Click on that. Um, all messages are private. So when you put it in there, the only people that are going to see it are Jessica and I. So just the two of us. But if you would put the comment in there, if you can hear us, where you're at, what time zone you're in, all that good stuff right in that chat box over there. I want to make sure everybody can hear us. So type in there, hey, I'm in Oklahoma or I'm in India or wherever I'm at. Type in that chat box. I want to make sure everybody can hear us. Are we getting some messages, Jessica? Uh, Alina, Alina says, yes, I can hear you. Uh, Alina can hear us. Don't know where you're at, Alina. I see Rogers in there from Pensacola, Florida. I see Eric from Rochester, New York. I see Donald is in the UK. I see Marcus is in Montreal, Canada. I see Tony is in Las Vegas, Nevada. That's very cool. Uh, who else we got, Jessica? You read off a couple. <laughs> Uh, Myrna is in Miami Beach. Myrna in Miami. Uh, Ian is in Perth. Perth, yeah, that's Australia. Um, Elizabeth is in Ohio. Elizabeth in Ohio. We got people from all over the world. This is awesome. Awesome. Looks like we got a full house today. And I do want to remind you that when it, it gets full like this, guys, don't downsize your window. Don't sign out. If any of those things happen, it'll kick you out and somebody else will grab your spot. We don't want that to happen. That's really uncool, right? So uh, we're talking about YouTube today. And, you know, we try to cover every subject. And YouTube has become such a big player, we can no longer ignore it. Um, and I know I'm working on it every day. I put up, I think, three videos today alone. And I, I, I take that back. I edited three videos today. I didn't put them up. Uh, but we're putting out a lot of content now. I mean, like a lot, like uh, I think five days a week, we have a video that goes up, which is pretty cool. Uh, and we're getting a lot of feedback. We're getting a lot of action. We're getting videos watched. We're building our list. Um, so I, I knew I had to share it with you guys. Now, what I'm going to do today is something I've never done before. I'm going to share with you a video that I'm working on that will go up on YouTube, but it's not up on YouTube yet. So you guys are going to actually see a video that talks all about YouTube before it actually goes on YouTube. And you're getting to see this because you're part of the inner circle, okay? Or you're a, a visitor that we've invited. So that's gonna be really cool. And I, I really think you're gonna enjoy it. Um, I didn't complete the editing in it. So there's a couple of little glitches in it, but you guys are gonna get to see it before anybody else. So YouTube, this is gonna be nine steps to design a successful YouTube channel. So if you haven't done it before, uh, or if you wanted to do this, you didn't know what to do, this training today will give you all the insight you need to have a successful YouTube channel. I've really been studying it for the past, I don't know, three or four months, something like that, and we're getting some really good results, and I'm gonna show you exactly what we're doing to get those results. So why even do YouTube? Well, um, you know, Google is the number one search engine in the world, and number two is YouTube. So, you know, if you're on Facebook, if you're on Twitter, or if you're on those other things, those things are okay. Nothing wrong with them, but they're not search engines. In other words, nobody's going to Facebook to find some information about something. Nobody's going to Twitter to find information. They're going to YouTube, okay? That's where they go to learn stuff and figure stuff out. Uh, you can tell this cat's really thinking about it as he files his fingernails here. Um, so let's jump in here and figure out what we need to do. Now, what I'm going to do, let's see, this video is not edited yet. See how that is? See how I got my eyes closed? I want to play this for you 
And this is going to walk you through all the steps. And I'm live today. Today is December 13th, 2019, Friday. Uh, and it's a little after 11 a.m. on Pacific Very time. Conflicted. Why? Because it's Friday the 13th, so we should be watching horror movies, but it's Christmas time, so we should be watching Christmas movies. Well, are there horrible Christmas movies we could watch? Maybe, like a Black Santa. No, okay. like, it's, it's like Black Friday, like... Black Friday, Santa. Well, yeah, I think that's what the movie's called. I don't know. We'll look it up. We gotta look it up. We gotta we gotta do what she wants to watch on the weekends. <laughs> I don't really watch anything on the weekends at work, but she she'll watch it. All right, so I'm gonna start you off on this video, guys, and I want to get your opinion. Do so, and also you can put comments throughout this video. I'm gonna play here uh, off to the side because you know if you have comments about what you thought was good, what you thought was bad, you know whatever you want to know, if you what you want to learn. Stick that in the comment section over there. And Jessica, are you getting comments over there? A couple? Yeah? No? Um, let's see. Can't hear you. Let's see, let's see. Christine says hi. Christine, what's up, girl? Good to see you. Yeah. That's um, one of my inner circle people right there. Nothing about YouTube so far. Nothing about YouTube. Okay, well, let's get Surprising. this. Ask your questions. Yeah, ask your questions. Let's get the show on the road. Nine steps to design a successful YouTube channel. Hey, are you looking to really do something with that YouTube channel? Are you looking to get subscribers and views and grow your channel? Well, you're in the right place because in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do in nine simple steps. And we're starting right now. Hey, I'm JR Fisher. If you're new to my channel, you got to do something. What do you got to do? You got to subscribe. You got to hit that button below there, that big subscribe button. And next to it, there's a bell. You got to smash the bell. Why? Because it'll, it'll make you a VIP person. You want to be that, right? You want to join the Fisher family. And how are you VIP? Well, I will be able to notify you every single time I do a new video. Now, I've been selling online since 2009, and I've sold millions of dollars of both physical and digital products and I got to tell you I picked up a few things along the way as a matter of fact my products are listed on thousands of websites including Walmart so on this channel what I do is I help you start run and grow your online business now if you've had issues with your YouTube channel and you have tried some things or you've had some problems put those comments below I want to see what's going on I want to help you out also at the end of this video I'm going to give you an e-commerce course value at $97 absolutely free all you have to do is click the link don't need a credit card or anything else okay let's get started and let's work on that YouTube channel okay let's let's be honest here there are other videos on YouTube yep there's other videos on YouTube so since there's other videos and how many videos are there I don't even know right now because they upload so much but I can tell you this there's an estimated 50 million content creators people making videos so for you to compete with all these people, you just need to do the right things. Don't get discouraged by the fact that there's so many of them. If you do the right things, you're going to do pretty well because I got to tell you, the majority of them, including myself, didn't do the right things when they started out. So let's check it out. So the first thing we've got to do is reach those viewers. And the way we're going to reach those viewers is we're going to raise awareness of our brand. That's exactly what we need to do to build the channel and get subscribers and get views. Now, I know this is going to sound a little intimidating in the beginning because of all those people out there creating videos. But most of them, like I said, they don't do it that well. So by the time you're done with going through these nine steps I'm going to give you in this video, you're going to be probably far ahead of most people. You're probably far ahead of probably about 95% of the people that are creating content right now. So we're going to hit these three key points in this video. We're going to talk about creating and optimizing your YouTube channel. We're also going to learn how to understand your audience and your competition using data. And we're going to look at advertising on YouTube through YouTube ads and influencer marketing. Step one makes sense. You got to create your YouTube channel for your business. Now, all you need to do to create a YouTube channel is you need to have a Gmail address. And how much does that cost? It's free. Okay. So go ahead and get you a Gmail address and then go ahead and set up your YouTube account. That's the first thing you need to do. 
Number two is learn about your audience. Now, how are you going to do that? Well, as soon as you set up your business account, Google's going to give you access to a lot of data, okay? So you can actually go in there, type in different terms, and see what they're searching for, what they're looking for, what they're interested in. But you want to learn as much about your audience as you possibly can. Now, once you've started your YouTube channel, you can actually go into the analytics for your subscribers, and you can figure out more data about them so you can make videos that better match your audience that you're building. You're going to want to monitor the watch time and demographics of your audience so you can answer all the questions that they have and they want to see videos on. Here's a few key components that you should be looking at. Where are your videos being viewed and when? What age are your viewers? What gender do your viewers most commonly identify as? Now, tracking your audience like this is really a win-win for you and them because if you know what they want, you can make the right videos, you'll get more views. And if you're making the videos they want, they get what they want because they want to watch videos about the subjects and about all the things they want to learn about or be entertained about. Now, as you learn all of this information, if your assumptions are right, then, of course, you want to keep making videos in that direction. And if they're a little bit off, you want to kind of cater to what your audience actually wants so that you can get more views. Now, reading comments, mm, not always fun because they don't always say good things about you, but you can learn a lot from these comments. So go into your comments on a regular basis. Make sure you respond to every single comment. And people will say, well, that's going to take me so much time. It won't in the beginning. Trust me. Why? Because you won't have any. Okay. The only way to really get comments is to ask for them like I'm doing right now. If you're enjoying this video, tell me what you liked about it. Put something in the comment section. I know you're watching and I want to hear what you want too. And this also helps you identify your audience and helps you provide what they're looking for. So you want to read all the comments and you're going to want to respond to them. Super important. You also want to check out the YouTube community page. It's an underrated space for finding out about your audience. It's located under the community tab on your profile, and you can interact with your subscribers directly right there. You can see all their comments. You can post questions, or you can create a poll to gain a deeper understanding of how your audience thinks. Number three is research your competition. You've, you've surely got other people out there doing videos on the same subjects or the same niches that you do. And since you do, you can look at their data, which is already out there, and help you build your channel by kind of figuring out what they're already doing. So another thing you can do is as you go into your competitor's channels, you can actually browse through and you can sort their videos by the most viewed. When you look at the most viewed, try to figure out what they're doing in those videos. What did they say? You know, what, what information did they provide? Um, what did they cover? What was the subject? All those things. What kind of thumbnail was on that particular video so that you can garner that information and use it for your channel? Now, here's something cool you can also do. You can... Same way you did it with your videos, as you looked at the comments, go into their comments, find out what their audience is saying, find out what their audience is asking for. In the beginning, you won't have very many comments. So if you look at other comments on another channel, you can figure out what people are asking for and what they need, and you can provide it on your channel. The other thing you can do is look at the keywords that your competitor is using in their title and in their description. If you do that, you can figure out some keywords that you could use in your videos to get more subscribers and views. You can also check to see if your competitors are putting ads on your videos. Now, there is a way to block them if you want to do that. That's up to you. Step number four is learn from your favorite channels. Now, these don't have to be competitors, but, you know, you probably have some channels that you like to watch on YouTube. I would kind of pick those apart, figure out what they're doing. How are they dressed? What is the background? What is the flow? How long are their videos? What is it that keeps you interested? You can learn a lot from people that you are already watching. It doesn't have to be in the same niche. The one thing I'll tell you is you've got to be a little bit different. You remember in the beginning of this video, I rang this bell. Well, that was to wake you up a little bit. Okay. That was to remind you to hit that. If you haven't done that, by the way, you got to do that. Hit that subscribe and hit the notification. But I did that on purpose to be a little bit different. Okay. So if you just sit in front of the camera and you're boring and you talk like this for a couple of minutes, you're going to lose your audience. Okay. Don't do that. You've got to gain their attention. You've got to have a nice clean background. You got to look good. You got to comb your hair. You got to be ready. You got to put on your makeup or whatever it is you do to look good. Good. make sure you're doing it in your videos so that people want to continue watching them number five is optimize your videos for SEO and that's search engine optimization now 
Google, which is YouTube, cannot bring back results, which are your videos, unless you've optimized them. The best way to do that is through TubeBuddy, and I'll put a link below that you can click. And TubeBuddy is free. It's awesome. It'll help you optimize your videos for free. If you use my link down there, you can actually save 30% on the pro version. The cool thing about TubeBuddy is you can type in a title, and you can change a few words, and it will give you a ranking or a score, if you will, on that title. And by changing just a couple words, Words, you can drastically improve the search results of your videos. Now, make sure when you're making your title, you don't use clickbait. Um, just because TubeBuddy says, hey, this would be a great title, if that doesn't match your video, you don't want to do that because that can actually cause you more harm than anything else because what YouTube does is they look at watch time. If you have a lot of people clicking through to your video, but when they get there, they don't watch the video, that means that they didn't get what they expected when they clicked. Now, the next thing I want to tell you is have good thumbnails. I didn't do this in the beginning. I didn't do it. Okay, I'm doing it now. And it's helping a whole lot, but you got to have really good engaging thumbnails. Now, on the thumbnail itself, you can put words on there. The words on that thumbnail do not have to match what your title is. Now, your title is generally going to be 60 to 70 characters. You don't want to put that on the thumbnail. You just want, you know, two, three, maybe four words on your thumbnail, something that's going to get their attention. If you check out these thumbnails here, they're really bright, they're colorful, they grab your attention. And this is what I'm talking about when we're talking about doing a thumbnail that actually works. Next up is write a compelling video description. Once again, I didn't do this, I didn't do this. We're doing it now, but that description means so much because it tells people so much more about that video. You can also add timestamps in there. In YouTube, it's really simple to do. You find something that's at, say, five minutes and six seconds, and if you type that next to the words in the description, five colon oh six, it will actually automatically set up a link so that when that is published, people could click on that time, and it will go to that spot in the video. In the description, if you're running short of ideas, you do have 5,000 characters you can put in there, but some things you could put in there are affiliate links. You could certainly do that. You could also add in there playlist of other videos that you have. You could also have links directly to other videos you have. Any of these things can help you fill up that description area and get you more traffic. The next thing you can do is you can add hashtags in your description. So if you put a hashtag in your description, what it's actually going to do is it's going to throw it at the top underneath the title of the video there so that people can see that hashtag. It also helps people locate your videos easier because some people are actually searching with hashtags now. Also, you can also add cards, you can add bumper ads, you can add watermarks to your videos. There's so many things you can do to enhance your video's quality. So let's talk about what these are first off. Cards are really like a transparent CTA that appears on your video. When people go to hover over it and click on it, it expands and it can take them to one of your other videos. Now, bumper ads are something you can put in the beginning or the end of your videos to promote whatever you want to promote. You can put watermarks on there, too, which are customizable buttons that get people to subscribe that will only appear to those people who aren't subscribers. And lastly, in this section, you got to ask viewers to subscribe. If you notice, I did that in the beginning, and I'm going to do it again. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, go down there and click that button. But if you don't ask them to subscribe, they don't know to do it. The assumption is that everybody knows to subscribe to your channel, but they don't, or even if they do know it, sometimes they forget. Number six, upload and schedule your video. So you don't want to randomly put videos out on YouTube, and I know I was guilty of this at the beginning, but what you want to do is you want to figure out what schedule that you want to have and stick to it. Now, what we do is every single day at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, five days a week, a video goes up on my channel. So people know that it's there. There's a, a particular schedule. It's five days a week, so you don't have to do that. You could do one day a week or, you know, twice a month, whatever you want to do, but make sure you have a schedule and you stick to it. People will treat your YouTube channel as a television station. They, they'll they come back to it at the same time of day in many cases, or they will know that you always upload it, let's say 10 a.m. at 10 p.m. at night. They always go there to grab that video, and if it's not there,
They're going to, you know, look for another channel. They're going to find else to fill up that time. So you want to make sure you're doing that. And also be professional about this. If you tell people that you're going to do a video every single day, you've got to do a video every single day. And that's hard to do. I know that personally. But whatever it is you tell them, make sure you stick with it. Be professional about it. You know, don't say, well, this happened or this occurred. What you want to do is upload your videos in advance and schedule them. That way they're going to be ready for the viewers when they come and they won't be disappointed. Number seven is you want to optimize your channel to attract new subscribers. You want to constantly be adding new subscribers. Now, the way you're going to do that is several different areas. So let's go over those right now. You're going to want to fill out your YouTube profile. This is super important. You want to have a keyword rich bio and you want to have as much information in there as you can possibly provide. You also want to have a good picture in there that is set to the right size for YouTube. Don't just use any picture that doesn't really fit. I've seen that too many times on a banner and it obviously didn't fit, but the people put it in there anyhow. You also want to have links to your website, your profile, all your social media, your contact information. That makes it seem more professional and you will get more subscribers and you'll get more context by doing that. Next thing, you want to organize your videos into playlists. That's super important. So if you have a particular subject you're talking about, you want to get four, five, six videos, put them into that playlist. The other thing you can do is have a series video, and I just did one of those, but have a series where it's two or three videos that explains one idea. That way you have the person going through the series watching each video. Now, the cool thing about this is when you create these playlists and they start watching it, the next video in the playlist will come up, and that'll be the next video they'll see. Now, don't forget, if you're creating these playlists, you also want to create relevant keywords for the playlist also. And number eight, try YouTube advertising. You can actually run ads to your videos or you can create videos just for ads. Now, I will tell you this. If you have a channel and you want to build the channel and you want to get more views, it's great to send traffic to that channel. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you're just doing some videos that are for ads, you don't want to put those in your channel. If you do that, for the most part, those little videos, those ones that are one or two minutes long, they don't get you enough watch time and you're just going to drive down your watch time. So I would suggest you starting another channel if you have some short videos that are just going to be run for ads. And number nine and our final one, try to work with an influencer. Contact somebody else on YouTube that has a similar niche, right? And say, hey, why don't we do a video together? Why don't we collaborate and do something together? Now, some of them will tell you no, but some of them will tell you yes. And if you do that, that's also going to help them. And if we help each other, that's a win-win situation. Now, you want to reach out and maybe just do this as a friendly gesture with these uh, influencers. Most YouTubers can tell if it's a paid sponsorship now. You know, I have one channel I watch, and I know in every single video he does that he's going to have some type of product placement, and he can't possibly like as many products as he promotes. So it becomes kind of old, and what I've done on those videos is, although I like those videos, I'll skip through that ad part. As soon as he's talking about a hair care product or, you know, whatever it is, a shirt or sunglasses, I know what's coming next. So I just skip through that section and the same thing will happen to you. So make sure these influencers are genuine and you're actually trying to help each other and reach the audience and give them what they want. As a bonus, I'll tell you, don't get stuck in a rut. Do things differently. Change it up a little bit. You know, have a different background, have a different style. Make sure you wear a different shirt. I know somebody that did videos on YouTube and there's literally hundreds of videos and she has the same shirt on. Now, I would suggest not doing that. Okay. Now, maybe there's a reason for it. Maybe it's her lucky shirt. I don't know. But one thing I'll tell you is to when, you, when you're doing your dress, when you're doing your backgrounds and you're doing all these things, make sure it looks professional. Don't just put no thought into it. Grab your camera and start making videos. And I know a lot of people tell you, just get started. Just make a video. Just grab your phone and do one. And while that's true and while that's better than not having any videos, setting up the scene with the right lighting and having the video viewable in the sound good, that's going to make a big difference in your videos. Now, if you found something you like in this video, my gosh, you've got to comment on it. you got to put it in the comment section below. If you're having problem building your channel or you need help, put that in the comment section below. I'd love to help you. Don't forget also to subscribe if you haven't done so and ring the bell, the notification bell down there. Smash that bell and turn on all notifications so you become part of the Fisher family, the VIP group that gets notified before anybody else. As promised, 
There is a course below that you can get absolutely free. Don't need a credit card. Don't need anything. Just click and learn. That's all you got to do. It's a $97 value. You'll want to grab that while that's available. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, guys, I'm back live again. I just wanted to... Nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm talking again. We don't want to talk again. All right, so that went over a lot of information. We still got a little bit of editing to do on that. What we do is we'll put words up on the screens and we'll put the numbers of the things we're going over. Um, we zoom in, we zoom out, <clears throat> and all that's done in um, post-edit. Um, I have a guy in the Philippines and he works on that and does all that stuff. But I want to get y'all's input. So if you would, put some questions off to the side there. I'm going to go through... A couple of people were asking me about the inner circle, so I'm going to go through that real quick. Um, those are the people that have been invited. They don't know what you get. So I do want to go over that with them. But uh, in addition to that, put your questions, you know, in that comment section there. Anything you want to know about YouTube. Uh, you know, if you've got questions about other stuff, too, I'll entertain those. Today. It's not a problem. Just, you know, primarily we're talking about YouTube today. But if you've got other issues and other things you want to work on, we can also do that. So let me get through these screens here. And all your stuff is private. Once again, nobody else is going to see it. Uh, um, Jessica, can you do me a favor? And can you put the link to my YouTube channel? Somebody just asked for that. Um, the link to the YouTube uh, channel. And they also were asking about the free course that I talked about. So if you could also put the link in the comments section for that. Jessica's going to be sticking that in there as I'm yakking over here. So yeah, you, if you have ads and you've been running ads or you want to run ads, those can be submitted uh, and I will help you on those ads. Uh, I know I'm helping a member on Monday. I think I got one on Wednesday, one on Thursday um, on the, your ads. So yeah, yeah, I'll help you out with that. Landing pages, sales pages, yep, we can help you out with that. Um, if you have websites, you're working on your website, you don't know what to do with the website, you want the website analyzed, that's all part of the Inner Circle membership. Um, maybe you're trying to find products. Maybe you don't know how to find products. You don't know how to look them up. That is a service we provide in the inner circle. Uh, you don't know how to price things. You don't know what price to set for your products. I can help you with that in the inner circle. Um, sales funnels. Some of you, you know, who are new may not even know what a sales funnel is, but they are super necessary to you being profitable. So, you know, if you need help with those, we can help you design them, help you work through them, everything in the inner circle. Uh, what else do we help you with? Emails. Yes, emails we help you with. If you don't know how to write them, you don't know when to send them, you don't know who to send them to, you don't know what provider to use, I am going to give you the best email provider in this session today, so be on the lookout for that. Um, you know, subject lines, headlines, those things that you just maybe don't know how to do, we can help you with that. Heck, maybe you need, just need some ideas. You know, you don't have any ideas what direction to go. You don't know where to start. You don't, you know, you don't even have a product. You know, we can help you with that. Um, if you're frustrated, this is like the biggest killer where people, you know, get in there and they start doing something and things keep going wrong and they just say, oh, heck with it, I'm stopping. So we can help you stop those frustrations that you may have had in the past. Um, any failures that you have are actually good things because the more failures you have, the more the more things you're going to cross off your list that don't work. So that's, that's an awesome thing. I know I've had a ton of them. And anybody who tries anything is going to have failures. I don't care if it's running or lifting weights or starting a business or cooking or it doesn't matter. You're going to have them. But you also will have some successes. So those are some of the areas we can help you in. Um, the best software for your email, for your landing pages, for your memberships, for everything, for help desk is Kartra. Now, if you use, that's my affiliate link. Yes, uh, we make some money on that, but very, very little. Uh, it's bit.ly forward slash Kartra dash uppercase JR. Now, when you go to this page here, guys, there's actually a video and it will walk you through everything that Kartra does. Um, and the cool thing about Kartra is you don't have to come up with ideas because there's templates for everything. So there's templates for memberships, there's templates for sales pages, there's templates for branding. If you know you wanna brand yourself as a coach or whatever, all those templates are in there so you don't have to be a designer. You don't have to pay a designer. It saves you a ton of money there. Um, so now we're gonna get into some questions here. Uh, just look around the door there and ask me whatever questions you want. And Jessica's going to be reading them off to the side here. So, uh, Jessica, could you hit me with a couple questions um, that you see being listed? I know a lot of people are writing a lot of questions. And, guys, these are great questions, so keep putting them in there. And just because you put one question doesn't mean you can't put two or three. Put as many as you want in there because I normally charge in the thousands of dollars to coach somebody. So you're getting it for free right now or if you're an Inner Circle member. 
Um, right? That's part of it. Jessica's yawning right now. That's what that dead time is. Um, so a lot of people were actually asking about if you have to be on screen. And then Christine was asking, she remembered you did a video about not having to actually be on screen and wanted the link. Is that on your YouTube? Yeah, it's on the YouTube. If you would go in there. No, you don't. You don't. To do YouTube videos, you don't have to be on screen. And I did an entire video on how to do this. Um, you know, there's people who have YouTube channels with millions of followers that review products and all they ever show is their hands. So you could do stuff like that. Or you can do like uh, PowerPoint screens. Um, you know, there's just so many things you can do. Watch my video on that. I'm going to put it in the comments section. Jessica's going to search it. Uh, it's called faceless videos, Jessica. That's what you want to search, faceless. Yeah. And I think my, my face is actually, you know, yeah, there it is. See, yeah, there's a little thumbnail of that. So she's going to put this video in there. No, you don't. You do not have to be on screen to do um, YouTube videos. Um, somebody is asking how you make money. You know, I have a video on that, too, if you go to my channel. And the best thing to do is subscribe to my channel. Uh, Jessica put a link to my channel there. You want to subscribe. And then what you want to do, and you've heard me say it in the video, you want to turn on notifications because there's a little bell that's right next to that subscribe button. You want to click the bell and then you then a little menu is going to pop up and it's going to say, you know, ask you about notifications, put um, turn on all notifications. Now, the reason you want to do that is every time I do a video, YouTube will just send you a quick email and it'll say J.R. Fisher just did a video on X, whatever it was. And that way you'll know to go there and you can actually watch that video and see what I'm training on. And you can see the title to it and everything. So you'll know if you're interested or not interested. Um, and I really would appreciate guys when you go to these videos, put some comments on them uh, because number one, I'm going to answer you. Okay. I'm going to actually physically look at your comment. And I'm going to answer you. It's me. It's not, you know, an assistant or something like that. So you may have questions and you can get them answered for free. I mean, that's, that's a pretty cool thing. Uh, in addition to that, it helps me with distribution of the videos, the more comments, likes, views, all that stuff I get, the more YouTube will actually show my videos. Um, so that really kind of helps me out. I really appreciate it. You know, you could just put a comment on there. I like the video. I didn't like the video or, you know, I, I liked number four or whatever. It, it could be a short comment. It doesn't have to be much or it could be long. You know, you can type a whole lot of stuff in there if you want. Um, we also want you to click that thumbs up thing. That helps us too. Uh, or thumbs down. If you don't like my video, put a thumbs down. I don't care. Uh, either way is interaction. And that's all that YouTube's looking for is interaction. That's all they want. Um, keep putting your questions off to the side there. Jessica's going to pull up another one now. Um, Elizabeth says, any hints for navigating YouTube's ever changing rules and algorithm changes? Yeah, Elizabeth is asking about the algorithms and how to get your videos to pop up. And I'll tell you, Elizabeth, you know, that the number one thing you can do is be consistent. Be consistent. That's what I've seen that has worked so well for other people. Uh, and as much as, you know, and I did this years ago because I didn't know how to use YouTube and I, I've learned and I've studied it now. But, you know, I would do like 10 videos and put them up and then not do anything for two weeks and then put up two videos and then do 15 videos. And put up. You can't do that on YouTube. You know, if you're not going to be putting up a ton of videos, or you don't have time. I get it. Um, you know, but put up one a month. If you can only put up 12 a year, don't put up all 12 all at the same time, because the way their algorithm works is they look at consistency. Um, the other thing I'll tell you is that thumbnails are super, super important. And I talked about them in the video I just showed you. Uh, a lot of people don't put thumbnails. Uh, thumbnail is just a little graphic of, you know, you or some words or something. And it's got to be bright. Um, people are going to get these search results and they're going to see them. And that thumbnail is what's going to make them click. Make sure the thumbnail is really about what the video is about because if it's not and they click and they go to your video, but they don't stay and watch it, the next thing that YouTube looks for is watch time. What is your watch time? So if you have a high watch time, um, then of course they're gonna show your videos more. Now, why are all these things so important? Because watch time means people are watching more of your video. The way YouTube makes money is that they actually will put ads on your videos once you've reached a certain level and if people are watching a lot of your videos, you know, or, or excuse me, they're watching a lot of a particular video, they can put more ads on it. 
Um, the other thing I'll tell you, and I messed this up in the beginning, is you need to have longer videos. And I don't mean like two, three hours. I'm talking 10 minutes. 10 minutes is the ideal sweet spot, like 10, 12 minutes. The reason being is uh, YouTube can put up to four ads on your video. And they need 10 minutes to do it. So they're going to show videos that are 10 minutes or longer for that reason. Now, I've got some that are eight and I've got some that are 20. But for the most part, all of my videos are 10 to 12 minutes. And if you look at any of the big channels, they all follow that thing, uh, that 10 to 12 minute thing. Um, so that's super important. So I know that's a long winded answer, but there's a lot of things that you got to do. You also got to look at your title. You got to look at your description. You know, you got to look at your keywords. Um, optimizing a video is equally as important as what the video is. Uh, and then once you've done these videos, guys, you have to ask people to subscribe. You have to ask them to like it. You have to ask them to comment. You know, don't assume they know to do these things because they don't. Um, you know, you, you think they're going to all know these things, but they don't. I didn't know it. You know, you just can't know everything. What else you got over there, Jessica? Uh, Melina says, you said you posted one video a day. How much time does it take you to prepare one? Holy crap. A lot of time. <laughs> well, let me be honest with you on how I do these things, though. We normally will shoot once every week or two weeks. Uh, and I will normally get together 10 different video scripts, okay? So, and when I say script, I don't mean word for word. I use like bullet points um, and we'll sit down and we'll shoot 10 videos. And then what we do is then we send, you know, I, I do some rough edits, you know, I take out some of the more embarrassing things because I screw up a lot. But, uh, and then I'll give them to my video editor and then he'll edit them more and he'll put graphics and pretty things in them and all that. And, you know, maybe put some music or something behind it. Um, but it takes a lot of time. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you about that. It takes a lot of time to do it. Uh, and if you don't have that much time, don't say, oh, well, I can't do videos. Yes, you can do one a month, you know, just sit down and do one a month. Um, a few things that can help you out is, you know, pick an area of your house that you want to shoot them. If you can do this, not everybody can do this, uh, and leave it set up. Like we have a bunch of lights set up in my office. Um, I have a backdrop there, you know, it's, it's set up. So we just go in and flip on all the lights and we can start filming, you know, the camera's already at the right angle, everything, everything's just set. Uh, now not everybody can do that. You know, I know people have to film on their couch or their kitchen table and, and that's fine too. The whole thing is get started. Um, and the reason I, I will tell you guys to get started is because the way marketing has gone now, it's gone away from like a logo, like a Nike or something like that. It's gone to branding individuals, a person. Uh, if people bond with you, like, you know, you're on this call right now. You're part of my inner circle. You know, if, if, if I have people who bond with me and they know what I do, they know I give them good content, they know they can take what I give them and they can make money, they're going to continue to buy stuff from me. So setting up a YouTube channel is so awesome because you can build that audience and, you know, you can have opt-ins. We have opt-ins below the videos where they can opt in and get free courses. Did you get, did you put that link in there, Jessica? Yeah. Yeah. So in the comment section, you can get my free course, but stuff like that builds my list too, so that I can email you and say, Hey, we've got this new program. We've got this new product uh, and just treat people right. And if you do that and you start a YouTube channel and I don't care if I, you know, I watch, I watch some silly stuff on YouTube. You know, I watch this one guy that goes to fast food restaurants and you know, he rates them. And I watch another guy that travels around the world and eats all these different weird foods. I watch uh uh, a men's style one on there. I watch this guy who does exercises. It doesn't really matter what you're doing on YouTube, but you, you do want to have a channel. This is where people screw up. You do have a channel that's focused on one niche. That's it. So don't just go, you know, I'm going to blog on my day and what I'm doing today. Um, that's not going to build a channel for you. You know, unless you're the Kardashians, you're probably not going to be able to pull that one off. Uh, you need a specific niche, whether it's cooking or whether it's you know DIY or it's recipes or it's exercise or whatever it is, you know, stick to a niche and you'll be able to build your audience much faster by doing that. Uh, we got time for maybe one or two more questions, Jessica, if you have any more over there. I don't know if people are putting them in or not. If, if not, guys, you've got an opportunity right now. Stick at a question because I'm getting ready to get out of here and go to lunch. Uh, Danny says, where's the best place to get structure and scripts written on my subject? Danny is asking where to get the best. What, what did you say again? Structure and scripts. Structure and scripts. 
Um, I will give you a structure right now, to be honest with you. Um, and I, I wouldn't really have somebody else write them. I don't, I don't have anybody write any of my stuff. Um, but the structure is pretty simple. You're going to have a, you're going to have a title for your video, whatever that title is. Um, Jessica, can you put my tube buddy link in there? Cause I'm going to talk about that. You don't have that. Um, if you go to tube buddy, well, I'll get it to you later, but I would use something called tube buddy. Uh, and TubeBuddy is good because you can actually put in a title and you can optimize it. Uh, and what that means is you can see, you know, by changing up a few words, if it's going to come up high in the search ranking. So you can like keep changing the words. So the structure of the actual YouTube video is going to be the first thing you're going to say is that title in your video. You have to say that title in the beginning. The reason you have to do that is because YouTube looks at your title, looks at your description, and then it actually listens to your video. I don't know how it does this. And if you say the title in your video and the title was a good search title, then that's going to help you get ranking. So first thing you do is say the title like I did in this video. Then after that, you're going to give a little short description of what the video is about and what somebody's going to get out of the video. Okay, so that's your next step. Um, the next step is you want to introduce yourself and assume that the people watching have not, never been to your channel before. Because I've always got people who've never been there before. So what I do is I tell them, hey, if you're new to my channel, these are the things I go over. I teach people how to start running, grow their businesses online. Then talk about whatever credibility you have, okay? So, you know, if you are, like, like I sell stuff online, so I tell people in the introduction, hey, I've sold millions of dollars of both digital and physical products. I have my products, branded products on thousands of websites, including Walmart. Um, and, you know, I let them know that. And, uh, you know, once I've told him all those things, I ask him to subscribe and all that, then I get into the actual meat of what it is. So that's basically the outline. When I'm done doing all that, I will recap. I'll say, so now you've got the information on, you know, whatever, how to grow your YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Uh, click that notification button right there uh, and turn on all notifications. Now, if you want to hear that structure in a lot of videos, just go to my channel. You're going to hear that. And that will give you basically the outline. You know what? That's a great idea for a video. <laughs> I got to do a video on that. Remind me on that one, Jessica. Thanks for the idea. <laughs> I'm going to do a video on that. That's a super good idea. Um, so be on the lookout for that. Okay. But that's, that's what I would do. Um, so guys, we're going to go ahead and jump out of here now. It's getting late. I really appreciate everybody showing up. It's been a great session today. You guys always ask awesome questions. Um, don't forget to go to uh, jrinnercircle.com forward slash enroll if you want to get more training like this, if you want to start and grow your online business. Um, and understand, guys, you're going to either spend the money trying to figure this stuff out or you're going to give it to me and I'm just going to tell it to you. <laughs> either way you want to do it. Uh, but the thing is, trying to figure it out, you don't always figure it out. We do uh, have the things that work, the methods that work. So, you, you know, you're pretty well assured that what I give you is going to work because we're already doing it. You know, we sell stuff online every day so you got to spend a little bit to learn something but you know it's not millions of dollars it's a few hundred bucks and you know you'll learn how to do all this stuff and you'll be off and running and then you'll be part of our community too and you get access and by the way when you join the inner circle you get access to forty six thousand three hundred eighty two dollars worth of video training plus free software to help you do all this stuff so you get a lot a lot a lot of stuff if you're a member of the inner circle um guys i really appreciate you being here today jessica always has some really strong words of wisdom on Friday. People, a lot of people just show up for that. I mean, they don't even care about hearing me. They just want to hear what she's got to say. You know, it gets their weekend going and pumps them up and gets them excited. So I'm going to turn it over to Jessica. I'm going to grab a pen and pencil right now. And I got pen in one hand and pencil in the other. And I've got two pieces of paper and I'm writing feverishly as she speaks. Go never, ahead. You never write anything. I never write anything. <laughs> I don't write a lot. That's a lie. <laughs> but I will listen and I will remember. Um, Tony Robbins says the path to success is to take massive determined actions. So let that sink in. All right, it sunk in. Now what? You have to take action. Action? So you mean the ideas won't make me money? No. Yeah, I've heard so many people say, man, I've got this great idea to blah, blah, blah. Uh, don't tell anybody about it. I'm like, well, I've got tons of ideas too. The problem is acting on all of them. That's where the money comes in acting on ideas guys so yeah if you want something to stick with you i think that's a a good statement she just gave you 
and um, it, it will kind of open up your world when you start acting because you're going to act on some things and they aren't going to work, but it's going to open up doors for other things. Um, I know even Jessica, tell me your story about dog training real quick. Somebody was asking me the other day what you do outside of this, and she's an incredible dog trainer. She has courses, uh, and then they said, I have a dog and I need some help with it. So if you don't mind, would you post your link to your dog training in there and kind of tell them how you did that? Because like 10 years ago, you didn't know anything about dogs, did you? I did not. I can't post them. <laughs> okay, so I'll, I'll keep yakking here. So what she did is she started this dog training thing, and she's literally done uh, training, you know, one-on-one -on -one with people. She's taken those videos. I don't want to steal all your thunder, so I won't. I won't. I just won't because I'm going to tell you what she did, but it's, it's really cool. She had a really cool method of going about this. Um, so go ahead. What you, you knew nothing about dog training I did. and now you're an expert dog trainer and people are doing testimonials about you and talking about how great you are. And how did, how did you get from not knowing to having these courses to having people pay you to show up at their houses? I mean, what, what, what'd you do? Um, well, the very first step was to, find other dog trainers that I trusted their techniques and I bought all their courses and I studied. You and spend I studied money. And I studied, yes. Yeah. And, and she's got a ton books. of books, guys. A ton of books. And I bought a ton of books and I read a ton of books. And uh, once I was confident with the knowledge that I had, I ran an ad on Craigslist to train dogs for free. And Wait, wait, you're going to do this stuff for free? Why would you do it for free? And I know why, guys, but I'm just trying to bait her a little bit. Um, I did it for free for a number of reasons. I did it for free um, because I needed to practice. I did it for free to get video footage. I did it for free to get testimonials. Um, Where'd you run these ads? I ran them on Craigslist. So you did free ads on top of that. I did free so ads. So it cost you nothing. Cost me nothing. Okay. Uh, just time and gas to get there. <laughs> right, right. And then you could record this stuff and, and actually use it. I recorded it all and I used everything I could, got some testimonials out of it. And um, yeah, so now I charge people. Well, didn't you write a book too? I did write a book. Well, how'd that go? How'd you do that? I mean, did you get a publisher or what'd you have to do? No, I just wrote the only thing i did was get an editor um because i don't think you can edit your own stuff and how long is the book it's 63 pages so you don't have to write a 500 page book you don't have to do a harry potter novel no and it actually works out better that it's only 63 pages because now um when i have people pay me to come into their homes here locally i send them the book First, they get all caught up. So you mail out a physical book? I send them a digital copy. So it's a digital book. And they can get all caught up on all of the foundational things they need so we can get right into the actual. Well, how do you sell a digital book? Do you sell these books? I do. You do. And I know the answers to all these guys, of course I do, but I'm trying to bait her a little bit because she's not telling me. All right, so how do you sell these digital books you've got? Um, I run ads on Facebook. So then you actually did paid ads. Now, do you actually have physical ads. books too? I do. I do have physical books, um, and I sell both the digital and physical books through the Facebook. So ads. you make money off a digital book. You make money off a physical book. Is there any other ways you make money off that book? Um, it's available on Amazon, and people buy it on Amazon, and I get royalties. Any other way you make money off it? Um, like if somebody just wanted to listen to your book. Oh, yeah, I have the audio version. <laughs> she has the audio version of the book. See, guys, how this kind of snowballs? Okay, so they buy your book, and then what happens then? They buy my book, and then they are taken to a video sales letter, um, letting them know that if they are, you know, if they really want to succeed, they need to buy my monthly membership. So you have a continuity program. I have a continuity program. And what does that sell for? $27 a month. So you got people paying you 27 bucks. I now, do. somebody listening is going to say $27 is much money. No, but. 
What if you had a thousand people paying you twenty seven dollars a month? People, yeah. What if you had two thousand dollars or two thousand people? That's fifty four thousand dollars a month, guys. Yes, it's possible. Matter of fact, it's being done, and I have courses like that too. So, you know, if you want to learn more stuff like this, jump in the inner circle. You know, it's jrinnercircle.com forward slash enroll. And I'll give you the insights to doing these things. You will have a whole new world open up to you about ways to make money. Okay. So I know so many people are afraid to spend any money. Like, I don't want to spend any money on training. I don't want to, I want to spend $80,000 on college and come out and have no job with a useless degree. And that's what they do. I did that too. Yeah, I did that too. <laughs> but with a few hundred bucks, you join the inner circle. Okay. And I'm not trying to push it, but Hey, you're here, you're listening, you're here for a reason. If you're an invited person, of course, the rest of you guys are just inner circle people. You know, I'm, I'm talking, I'm preaching to the choir because you're already, you know, a member and you know all the stuff you get out of it. But for those of you who don't, man, you got to check it out. Just watch the video. Go to jrinnercircle.com forward slash enroll and just watch the video that it'll show you, excuse me, I burped. Uh, it'll show you um, all you get for the inner circle. All right, we're going to get out of here. I got to go to lunch. Thank you so much for sharing with us today, Jessica. Your story is amazing. We're really impressed with what you've done, what you've accomplished, and uh, you will probably motivate somebody else to do something with their lives. And that's really cool oh, that yeah. you're sharing. Thank you so much, guys, and I will see you next time. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right here so you can be notified every time I do a new video. Also, click on one of those videos there. Keep watching on my channel.